Hey yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Power Owner and today we are going to be talking about the golden boss or the mini boss in the end. Now if you guys are wondering where the heck is this boss located, well it's actually right behind the dragon's nest. To check if it's actually close to spawning, you can see it by four different layers. Firstly, it will be an iron golem head by itself just standing there. And then it will form another layer, which means you're in the second stage. And the other layer looks like it's just end stone. But it keeps stacking on until you actually reach layer 4, which is the final stage. This is actually a good time to get ready for the boss fight and get ready to do a lot of damage. Since the looting system is similar to a magma boss where top 3 players actually get the loot. But first, how to actually spawn in a boss in a fresh lobby. First step is to get the golem head to spawn and in order to do that you need to mine endstone. Bear in mind that group work is the way to go. If the whole lobby works towards spawning the boss it will go fairly fast as it's not individual. Once the golem head has spawned comes the next step. For the second part you want to go ahead and start killing sea lots. Now I'm not exactly sure if the obsidian defenders and watchers count towards the final kill count. This step will definitely take a while but you can check time to time if another layer of endstone has stacked on. The range of sea lots you must kill before the boss ranges from 4 to 5000. So honestly spawning the boss in is really not that bad. I mean if anything, it's super beneficial for yourself because you can make a lot of in-game money. And keep in mind, I think you get about 2-3 to three summoning eyes per hour. And let's say if it is actually 3 summoning eyes per hour, you're going to be making about 1.8 million while still trying to get the boss. So there's actually no loss with this boss. Except for the fact that right now I believe that the golem pet is a little bit bugged out. Nobody's really getting any loot. And if somebody was to actually get any loot from this pet right now, it would be just the pet. Which would be either epic or legendary. But you have to keep in mind that the whole lobby is fighting for this. And uh, the chances of getting the pet itself, I think they're a very small chance. So oftentimes the whole lobby is left with nothing. But anyways, once you do have enough sea lots killed, it's gonna look like this. And, uh, well, the boss has spawned in. And this is pretty freaking amazing. Like, this boss fight is a lot of fun. But one thing which is really crazy is that everybody's surrounding this little guy. So it can be really hard to actually spot him out in the crowd. And this was actually something that happened in my very first fight. I didn't really even see him. And I was just kind of hitting anywhere. But this time I actually managed to catch my eyes onto him and focus on him. And try to see if I can get to the top 3 damage. So we can maybe see if we can win the pet. Now as you guys can see the fight is going fairly long. And he does kind of hit us away at time to time. But anyways the fight has come to an end. And as you guys can see we did 300,000 damage. Which wasn't enough to make us to top 3. I managed to get six position but that didn't really reward me with anything and the whole lobby was left with nothing so as you guys can see nobody actually managed to get anything except the summoning guys that uh well i was getting while grinding the sea lots but anyways, now it's time for the next fight and this was actually my very first fight and well as you guys can see I literally couldn't see anything and I realized I was even using a raider's axe by accident. I was not prepared for this at all and I joined this fight very very late. So one thing that I did actually learn from this bad fight was that you should always kind of be in the nearby distance while grinding the sea lots because I simply didn't see that the boss had spawned so I quickly ran there and while I was kind of running quickly there I didn't even think about switching my sword. So yeah I was with the raider's axe I didn't even hit the boss at all almost because I simply couldn't see anything but I realized that f5 was probably a mistake I thought I'm gonna see easier for that but I am um, in the second fight I noticed is that if you're just like just pushing yourself in there you're gonna manage to do the damage and uh, yeah but honestly that was the mini boss fight anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you guys hit that like button and if you're new here make sure you do subscribe with the notifications on because i'm gonna be uploading a lot of high pixel sky blog and also if you guys didn't know i uploaded a video about all the new things that came with the new update all the new pets and all the new cool things anyways see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>